The sheriff's office is still looking for 23-year-old Trayvon Walker. Keniza's friends said have created a GoFundMe for funeral arrangements and to support her daughter. In the early morning hours of May 5th, 28-year-old Keniza Owens was shot and killed in front of her six-year-old daughter by her 23-year-old boyfriend, Trayvon Walker, after the two got into an argument inside of her Green Meadows apartment. Walker would immediately flee the scene through a back door just as police arrived. Just four days later, Bibb County deputies would announce his arrest after being located at a home on Dexter Avenue. He was taken to the Bibb County Jail, where he is charged with murder and probation violation and being held without bond. An update on the story we brought you last week. A Macon man arrested and charged with murder. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office says they arrested 23-year-old Trayvon Walker just after 11 this morning in the 1500 block of Dexter Avenue. He's been charged with murder and a probation violation. Last Friday, deputies responded to Green Meadows' apartment where they found 28-year-old Keniza Owens with a gunshot wound. She later died at the hospital. Deputies say it was a domestic dispute. Family and friends honored Owens with a balloon release on Sunday. Walker is being held in the Bibb County Jail without bond. Purple balloons were released at the Green Meadows apartment complex today in honor of 28-year-old Keniza Owens. Bibb County Sheriff's Office says she was shot Friday morning by her boyfriend, Trayvon Walker. Nearly 50 friends and neighbors from Green Meadows came to honor her life. People also wore purple to honor victims of domestic violence like Owens. Keon Bray Barnes says she wants they says they want to show that as a community, they come together in tragedy. They also wanted to spread love to her seven year old daughter. She left behind one of Owen's friends says they're demanding for a better response from the Bibb County Sheriff's Office on domestic dispute calls. Barnes says it took deputies three hours to respond to the call Friday. We're all out here. We're all standing out here for a cause. We want the police to come and help us in a timely manner, not when they feel like it or when they feel that they finally want to answer the call, but no, when we call, we need y'all to come out here. 